Thor. There's a magnitude of nothing. Well, I'll take that back. Not really. I got a lot of things. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Ocala, Florida, about to inspect this Thor Magnitude RS36. Now stick around, we don't know what we're gonna find, and neither do you, but we have inspected a unit exactly like this before. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna link it above, so make sure you go watch that and stick around. We're gonna update you at lunch and the end of the day. All right, first glimpse, beautiful magnitude. F-600 Ford looks pretty cool. We've done one of those. Well, we've done a few of them, actually, but exactly that model. Uh, like Laurel said, a lot of problem, major problem that we had, water dripping from one end to the other. So we kind of know what to look for in this one. Other than that, my first glimpse, it looks beautiful. Just like when you walked in here and you said, yeah, it looks cool. I mean, what is there to be wrong? Absolutely nothing. We'll see later if that's the statement and that's the case. But I want to bring a topic here to help you out and to smarten up when you got an inspection, you got a report, and you say, okay, I don't like this unit. You know what? I'm passing. I didn't like the findings that you guys found or some of your uh, endorsed team did the same thing, delivered a report, and eh, I don't really want to. I, I'm backing off of this deal. I don't like those things. I don't want to have them fixed. Here's the deal. You paid for that report. You invested your time and your money and wait and schedule us and we go there. The dealership did absolutely nothing. Nothing. Their four-hour inspection is not even done 99% of the time that we come in here because they claim that we're going to get it dirty. Some of the people say that it has been done, which it's not. Every time we go in, we can see that, yeah, it's been done at the pace that they want to have it done. So here's your report. You have it, and you decide, no, I'm backing off. Now you feel guilty because you tried to justify to the salesman that you're dealing with, well, I don't really want to. Okay, well, why don't you want to? Uh, let me offer you other model. Uh, what's the reason why you're backing up? People, you don't need to answer none of their question. This is your deal, the way you're purchasing this. It's like going to Home Depot and saying, oh, I'm picking up this ladder. I'm going to go to the cash register. And all of a sudden, you're at the cash register. You say, no, actually, I don't want this ladder. You haven't even paid for it yet. And you're going back to the aisle and some rep that was with the orange apron is gonna say, hey, hey, why are you putting that ladder back? You were committed, why are you putting the ladder back? What the hell does that have to do with your decision? It's the same thing with a salesperson. You paid for this report that separates you from the dealership and your unit, you're in charge. They don't need to know and have verification and have a report that you invested in to, to forward to them so, oh, now they know what to look for. They didn't even have to pay for it. They have techs and inspector that are supposed to find these things. This is on your dime, your bill. I just thought that I was gonna bring this up because it just happened to us a couple of days ago and it's like, why did you give that report to them? You're out of the deal, you feel guilty? Time for you people to take charge of your own destiny. So for me, right now, I'm gonna leave it at this and we'll see you at lunchtime because we'll see what the damage is if there's some. Let's check it out and go see what Lowell has at lunchtime. So come on in, let's talk about the stow and go and my first glimpse. So standing in the cab area, you have easy access to your booth dinette, your couch, you can watch TV, you can do your dishes, like that's what you wanna do when you're on the road, right? But you can cook, you've got your fridge, you have easy access to your full shower. The kids have access to their bunks, which is great if they're gonna hang out while you're driving. And you also have access to your bedroom. Now this unit is equipped with a combo washing machine. So 
Do you want to do laundry on the road? You can. I'd say this is thumbs up, two thumbs up on the stow and go. And as for my first glimpse, I've come through here quickly. The only thing I can possibly see is when they installed the washer combo, they did do a little damage to the inside of the wood, which I'll show you later. That's it. That's just my first glimpse walking through quickly. We'll see you at lunchtime. Lunchtime recap. Thor. There's a magnitude of nothing. Well, I'll take that back. Not really. I got a lot of things. My first start this morning was an inverter that worked a little bit. So the inverter is actually what charges also your house battery if you don't have a converter. Inverter didn't charge. Told me I had a bad power source supply, which I tested and I didn't. Here's a tip for you, because that happened to me. So now I'm trying this, it worked a little bit, then it stopped working. So I don't have the fridge operating. I don't have my battery charging. I'm thinking, okay, I go back to my pedestal. I still have 124, 123 on each leg. Uh, when you test the pedestal or your EMS is telling you, oh, it's green, it's got power. Okay, so now you've got the problem that your batteries are not charging through the inverter. So here's one thing you can do for yourself. You go into your transfer switch box, wherever it is, on the outside in the class A, on this Super C, it's actually underneath the bed. So when you see that big black box with those two lights, check the lights, check what they say, which light is open to say, oh, ground fault. If you have a ground fault, take your power supply, plug elsewhere or take the other outlet. There was, for instance, on this one, a ground fault on the pedestal, which was just fixed four days ago. <laughs> Quite an electrician. Hey, it's like technician, it's like inspector. There's a lot of them out there, just saying. So my main problem this morning was this slide out, which we only have one. So let's go on the other side. So this super slide out is operated by Schwintech. When this comes in, you can hear it and see it struggle. The last section has a problem. It, it is pulling. When you come out, it's the same thing. You got to hold the button for, I don't know, five, 10 seconds. So it finally does the last two inches. Huh, we got a problem. And if I look at the rail here, imagine that's just been open, I don't know, maybe 10 times. And you always see, you already see this, this filing coming out of this aluminum. That doesn't sound or look good that's how i feel all right so now let's go in the front first of all on this corner this is aesthetic okay it's nothing i don't know if you can see this this is just aesthetic you know what i mean you can see the crack and you can see somebody try to do the putty and make okay that's i'm just commenting where i have more of a problem is here so in this hole i don't know if you can see the hole with the with the camera but i got a hole right here so this will actually bring water because when you're going forward, I think the water goes right in there. Just saying. So here's another one with water. This nice bay window up here. You know, the window that's above the cab where you put the kids on when you travel. Well, this whole bottom of the unit from the letter M to the letter E, there is no sealant at the bottom. So they did the corners and whoever was working on this didn't dare jump on this and they forgot well now you're stuck and if it didn't rain for the last 1100 miles you're good but if it did rain it goes directly in here so not a good funnel for water here's another blemish Come on so here's the front bumper it is aesthetical again so you can see the blemish in the paint right here and you can see that they blemished within the paint so now this is will stay there forever Hey, listen, it's under warranty. I mean, stand up for yourself. The other thing is here, this is a black truck. So I don't know if you can see, but this was black. So you can see that whoever oversprayed, well, they didn't bend down to overspray too much there, but you don't see it. So who cares? I get over yourself. It's a freaking RV. If I remember, I always tell you, this is belt trim. See my belt? See my belt right there, so that's called belt trim. 
that's my, you know, if I put my, my pants up underneath my, that'd be my belt trim. You know, like grandpa used to, whatever. This is my floor, okay? So see this, see this. This is why we call it belt trim. I didn't say belt, I said belt. So this, actually, I already went underneath the refrigerator just to make sure that it hasn't been there long enough to create water problem. But follow me. We're at the end of March. This is a February build. 28th of February, 30th of March. That's a month. This has been there for a month. The bay window in the front has been there for a month. So think about it. If you're looking at a unit that's been parked for the last, you know, like Texas, what was it, a year and a half? Brand new model, a year and a half. What was inside the wall on a brand new unit? Right, water. So when you look at a unit, think of this. Look at these things. That's a telltale that my wife tried to tell me all the time. I don't know how to say that. Telltale, is that how you say it? So those are, those are telling you, that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say. This is telling you what might have been going on. These are the direction you try to aim at and try to find. By the way, for all of you inspectors that are following our videos, thank you for watching and I appreciate if you can find and, and learn something. If you're in this fast pace of you actually want to become a little bit better than you were yesterday, and that's always my goal to be better today than I was yesterday, but looking forward for tomorrow to be better than today. This is what we at Blue Ox try to do. And if you're a couple and you're already interested in getting yourself ahead of the game, getting out of this stagnant, everybody's the same type of deal, want to knock it a notch, get above everybody else and join us into the Blue Ox endorsement, reach out, check on our website. There'll be a form on there that you can actually contact us, fill that up and we might contact you if that's an interest. So that could become valuable information. Hmm. Somebody who's actually promoting you? Think it over. Reach out if you have a chance. Let's go see what Laurel found. So it's lunchtime. You see that smile? Yes, it is a real smile. This is a Thor, a Thor magnitude. For me, on the inside, it's lunchtime. I'm finding minor itty bitty little things. You know, look like somebody may have had some Kentucky Fried Chicken and a little bit of grease still on their fingers and that was on the couch. All right, so they're gonna wipe that off. And then I have a drawer here and I'm not gonna pull it out all the way because if I do, I can't put it back in. It catches right here. You know, so it's little things, tiny little minor things that I'm really happy about because this doesn't happen very often. So many times, day after day, inspection after inspection, we have issues, a lot of issues. So at lunchtime, for me to be able to tell you that I really don't have anything, I am gonna save my water for the end of the day, as you know. And as you did see in my last magnitude of issue video, which I already linked above, we had a washing machine that leaked everywhere. Well, today I saved the washing machine. I'm gonna start it while we're having lunch. It's gonna be going, I'm able to watch it outside, inside. And it's one of those that it also is a dryer. So it's a combo unit. So this should be interesting. But other than that, I'm really happy and I can't wait to see you at the end of the day. And just keep your fingers crossed too that we find nothing. I'll see you then. End of the day, part one. End of the day, part two. All right, so we got a problem with our transfer switch, which we did this morning, but that solved the problem. So, oh, okay, it was just a transfer switch. So most likely it's the same problem because now I've got the generator. You remember I told you about this, that if ever you had a problem, well, if you come here, this transfer switch and this converter are actually not working. So there is a problem, electrical problem here, either the converter or the transfer switch. You know what's nice about what I do? I don't fix it They're on their own, but you have a problem. Isn't that what you wanted to know? 
All right, let's go check if we got something else outside. See how boring this was? This is close to perfect. That's basically what it is. See, Lauren's looking at herself in, in the reflection. I know that's what it is, but whatever. It's not about the magnitude. It's about my wife. So see, it's kind of ridiculous. When we don't find nothing, we become kind of, wow, okay, this is not normal. I still got to go to work. I still got to tally all of that stuff because there is some little stuff here and there. I just got out from underneath, as you may tell. Nothing special. Everything looked nice. Everything looked in order. The only thing we're doing now, I'm starting the generator to see if our outlets work and a couple of things on the mechanical side, but we know the customer is going to come here, so I might put him to work. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, let's go check what Lowell has inside, if there is any. So it's the end of the day and the smile continues. I'm telling you, inside, I am so happy. I have a list this long of nothing, literally nothing. And yes, I did my water this afternoon. I had no leaks. The shower didn't leak. Nothing leaked. But speaking of the shower, let's come in. Let's do the tall stall. If you're 78 inches and less, six foot six, you're going to be perfectly fine in this shower stall. I couldn't be happier with the fact that I had no leaks anywhere at all whatsoever. Super happy with this particular Thor magnitude. Yes, I said Thor. Thumbs up because honestly, I don't know what Pierce found outside because we didn't talk about it, but I can tell you that I'm really pleased in here. Speaking of being pleased, if you want to be happy for a day, call in sick. If you want to be happy for years, get married. If you want to be happy for a lifetime, buy an RV and take some adventures. So remember, and do never forget. It's not all about the destination. It's all about the journey. <laughs> So I wanted to tell you about the, actually the, um, hold on. <laughs> All right. Lunchtime dinner recap. <laughs> well, magnitude, you've done it. We're happy. That's what I'm trying to say. We're really happy. This is awesome. That's going to go into bloopers. She ain't going to use that. Hey, tell us your face is happy. What are you hanging? So tell your comment that, tell your face that your comment makes it happy. Magnitude. Beautiful. Yeah, whatever. Oh, well. I'll go to show you one that we crashed not too long ago, and it's still here for sale, but just wait, just wait. They're just pulling the trailer, but look, look over there. That's the one that we tanked a couple of weeks ago. Probably ten year, t probably ten days ago. That's the one with the rotten floor. That's an interesting one. I didn't say that was a nace. No, that was a vision. Not at all the same thing. Yes, they are. Just saying. See how? Look at that disgusting shit. And that's probably the kind of thing I roll on at. That you remember I burnt myself one day with yeah. this. Ugh, eepie jeepie. There goes another salesman. See, that's a salesman. How you doing? I'm just going to move your power down to this pole so I can plug the... No, the you're pole. not. This is a ground fault. You can't use this one, so I can't use yours. I got to use yours. Unless you got extension. Yeah, don't use this one. We're already proven that, that there's... Whatever they fix doesn't work. All right, all right, come up here. I am gonna save my water for the end of the day, as you know. Then I have a washer and a you remember last year, so go back to that one. I was, but you stopped me. Now you're gonna see what Laurel did. Now before I'm going to lunch, now before I'm going to lunch, I'm gonna go to that. There, hold on. All right, so now, all right, now let's go see what Laurel has for lunch. You're fixing lunch? No, she's got stuff for lunch. 
But what if she's gonna tell us about something that she found in there? Let's go see what Laurel found. I wanted to tell you about my washing machine, but did we have fun today? 